What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video I want to show you how to create a remarketing list. So in the previous video we've added this UET tag basically for conversion tracking. So now we can determine how many people visited a particular site, whether it's our landing page, whether it's our sales page, our thank you page, whatever it is. So I'll show you how to do that and then how to actually use it and actually target those people. Okay. So uh, let me um, start off. We need to go to shared library here and then go to audiences. So view audiences, right? So first thing we need to do is create a remarketing list. So let's click on that. So let's enter a name for our list. So whatever it is you're looking for, make it relevant. Uh, people who signed up, people who only visited, people who uh, bought all my products, right? Whatever it is. So let's say, um, let's say people who visited landing page for simplicity's sake and we want to make it visitor of a page so here right we can we can customize it maybe people who visited the thank you page but did not uh, visit our sales page or people who visited our sales page product a but did not visit sales page product b that's where you would adjust it here so you can add rules so you can say url contains uh, or URL does not contain URL does not. So in here, what you would do is you would input your URL. So for example, let's go back to the opt-in page. So we've already put our code here. If you haven't done that already, check out the previous video, we'll link up above in the card. Uh, and uh, we'll just copy that because that's our kind of home, our main page. And that's what we would put here. So URL contains, we put that there, remove that. Uh, and I'll probably remove all the HTTPS stuff. Uh, and we can also say URL, so add another and say URL does not contain. And here we can put in, you know, the, the thank you page. So people who went to, who saw this page, but who did not, who did not uh, end up going to the thank you page, therefore did not end up signing up. So we can do that. And that's pretty much it, right? That's there. Uh, let's, we can see examples. I'm just trying to see, um, looks like you cannot see uh what's going on oh there you go yeah okay so so in order to see what you did just just click on that there and you can see everything that's there and that's basically your list so what we've just done is we've created a list for people that visited our landing page but have not seen our thank you page okay so next um i'll get back to that in a second so description make a description people who only saw my landing page but not my uh thank you page whatever you want tag name we need to select a tag that we created because that's the tag on the page obviously we need to track them somehow so this is that track we're using the, the leads for our cd passive income uh we want to use it on either across all accounts or on a, on a one account i'm going to go with one account for now for simplicity's sake you may go with across all accounts up to you um, so membership duration, this is basically how long the cookie is on, on the person for and how long they stay in your remarketing list. For example, if I make this one day, what's going to happen is if a person enters this page, he goes to my, he or she goes to my landing page and they, um, they, they do something and they, they come back in, in two days. Well, I won't be able to remarket to them after that one day has passed because now they're off, they're, they're off my list. So I basically have one day to, to really do anything to them and to show the ads to them. On the other side, if I make it 180, I have 180 days to show people my ads that have seen this page, but not seen the, my, my thank you page. I have 180 days to reach them. Now here's the downside or the upside of both of them. 180 days. Great. Gives you a lot of opportunity downside. It may be too much. People may not care anymore. Um, for, for small trivial products, like buying a pencil, there's no need to track people for 180 days. They'll probably buy a pencil tomorrow or today, right? So for that case, maybe you'd want to go with one day. For something like buying a house, you may want to keep them in there for a long time because normally buying a house, you don't do that in one day. You don't wake up and say, I want to buy a house. I'm going to go buy one right now unless you're a multi-billionaire, right? Uh, so for stuff like that, you would need to look at your product cycle and see what's the average time a person buys because you don't want to make it too kind of off topic so that your remarketing list is filled with people that really don't care about your product anymore. At the same time, you want to capture leads. You, you want to get people, right? You don't want it to have a super short time, like one day. So that's basically, it. I'm going to leave it at uh, average. I'll go to 90 days for now and I'll click save. So there you go. We've created our list. That's pretty much it. So now we need to actually include this list in our targeting. So I'm going to go to campaigns. And just like in Google AdWords, we'll need to go to audiences. Uh, create association, uh, select an ad group. So let's say this one, 
it doesn't matter for this case, but obviously for you, you would pick it up. Uh, add targeting. So here's our remarketing list that we've created. So it's called the visited landing page. I'm going to move it here. And that's that. So that's pretty much it. So we can increase the bid for these people. So because we're remarketing to them, they're warm to our offer. Maybe our offer should be a bit different to them. Say, hey, have you thought about this? Or, or what do you think about this? Right. The, your marketing to them should be different than what than for someone say who's never heard about your product before because these people have seen your landing page they're familiar with it they have it in the back of their mind so maybe you want to increase a bit to them by maybe you know 10 percent or five percent whatever it is you see fit or you can just leave it at zero so it's the same thing right uh this bit only so the difference between these two are if you say target and bid what's what's going to happen is um anyone that so here we have two criteria, right? We have keywords and we have a remarketing list. Those are two criteria. Now, if you say bid only, then that means that both those criteria have to match in order for the ad to show. If you say target and bid, then your ad will show to either someone who's written the keyword or to someone who matches your remarketing list. So if someone on my remarketing list, if I say target and bid, and my product is CB passive income and my keyword is CB passive income, and someone types in monkeys, my ad will show to them because they're on my remarketing list because I said target and bid. So as long as my bid is, is high enough and they're on my remarketing list, my ad will show to them no matter what because it's target and bid, okay? So they show to the selected audience with the option. So, so they show to either this or the keywords, not both. The bid only, it selects it, it, it. You need to make sure both of those criteria are set. Someone typed in the keyword and they're on your remarketing list. So that's how you would do it. After you do that, you click save and it's up and running. It's ready. Okay. Over here, it's not going to do much because we don't have the, the there's no one on our list yet, but it will work for you. If assuming you have, I think it's over a thousand people, you need to be able to do this. So that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and this was useful for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.